I know you're finishing it at home. The song we all know and love from the performance we all know and love for the kids and the kids at heart. The musical Annie is returning to San Diego. The adorable redhead and the rest of the gang are at the San Diego Civic Theater now through November the 8th. This morning, hey, we have Daddy Warbucks in the house. Gilgamesh Tag at live in studio with more on what you can expect from Annie. Hey, thanks for so much for making time for us this morning. Well, thank you for having me. This is an incredible opportunity. You guys have been nonstop, city after city, <laughs> putting on this performance. We understand that once you wrap up here on Sunday, you finally get a little break. We do. We get to go home for a couple of weeks because we will be performing straight through the holiday season this year. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so a well deserved break on the way. Until then, though, you have a lot of shows right here in San Diego now. Th tonight is the opening night. Yes, we are opening this evening. Uh, we do eight shows this week, two on Saturday, two on Sunday, and uh, very happy to be here and want to say hello to my aunt, my Aunt Gloriana, and the family are here. She so. lives here in San Diego. Yes. Cool. Yeah. All right. All right. This is near and dear to your heart because you mentioned when we were talking during the commercial yes. break, you happened to be adopted when you were a child. I, I was. I was an adopted child, so uh, or the, the whole concept of, of uh, generosity and largesse towards uh, uh, those less Fortunate is very important to me. Absolutely. Now I have to ask you, when you auditioned for the part of Daddy Warbucks, did you have hair? Well, when I auditioned for this time, no. I've done it before uh, in uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Did the production for two years in a little theater called uh, uh, Beck Center for the Arts. Okay. But I used to, I used to sport hair down middle of the back. No way! Uh, and you shaved it all yes, to be it Daddy was, Warbucks. It was traumatic, but, uh, <laughs> but worth it in the long run, I have to say. Absolutely. You found a lot of success with this particular play. And very happy with it, yes. Now, um, tell me about how you keep your energy going and your voice and, and night after night. This can't be easy. Is there something special you eat or drink getting ready for the shows? Well, everybody has their own uh, uh, their system or whatever they need to keep their energy up. Uh, you try and keep yourself healthy, plenty of water all the time. Uh, but I find that 90% uh, of it to 90 99% of it is just wanting to do what you do, no matter what the job is. I mean, there are people that get up bright and early in the morning and they have lots of heavy lifting or whatever they have to do all day. Or I grew up on a farm, too, so this, I wouldn't exactly call this work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not digging ditches. Exactly. On this all right. Uh, one thing that I read about you is that how much you as a child <laughs> like to perform for family and friends, whether they liked it or not, uh, you certainly got a kick out of it. It was so a compulsion. To, can you relate to the kids that you're co-starring with here? These kids are amazing. I mean, I'm happy people are coming to see the show, and the adults are. We're all we, we all do our best. And we're very funny. Our Miss Hannigan, our Rooster, Lily, Grace, everybody. They're absolutely wonderful. But these children are amazing, and their energy is almost annoyingly up. <laughs> <laughs> if they weren't so sweet, it would be a problem. But they're they're absolutely adorable and insanely talented as well. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, if you guys are expected to do all these, I mean, I mean, not only is he performing on stage night after night, but he's forced to talk to people like me to get ready for those performances. It's nonstop for you There's guys. A, yeah, there are worse lives, though. I mean, the 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 wonderful part about uh, what we do in theater is we get to uh, uh, entertain and educate and en enrich a community by sharing the basis of what a story is about, and this one is perfect for that. And I find it having no difficulty getting up to encourage people to come see a show that has to do with optimism and love and the, the uh, indomitable human spirit. I find as a parent, especially of young children, that there are fewer and fewer things you can take your young children too that you find completely appropriate for the entire family and everybody leaves feeling good about it in the end. That's so thank very you true. for doing that. Well, we're very happy. It's, it's, it, this show has legs. It's been out there for, it's coming up on its 40th anniversary actually. Hugely, wildly successful. Hey, there's the information right there on your screen. You want tickets, you better hop online fast. These tickets are going to go broadwaysd.org. It's now, tonight is opening night through the weekend. Two shows each day on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, and then they finally get a two-week break. So enjoy it while it's here in San Diego. <laughs> Daddy Warbucks, thank you so much for coming in. We do thank you for having it. me. Gilgamesh Taggett. Yes, I wanted to make sure I got that right. Gilgamesh Taggett. Thanks for your time this morning. Thank and you. And have fun this weekend.